Hi everyone! For those of you who don't know me, my name is Mrs. Schnabel and I teach orchestra at the middle school and the high school here in Granville. I'm going to take a few minutes to tell you a little bit about myself. Um, we're going to talk about some classroom procedures and those of you who are returning students to my classroom, we're going to talk about some differences that you might experience this year. Um, you're probably going to experience a lot of them, so here we go. I'm just going to talk a little bit about myself. Most of you know me pretty well, so I'll try to keep this relatively brief. Um, I think the most important thing for all of you to know about me is that um, teaching orchestra is truly my passion. I have played violin for most of my life and it's something that has brought me a lot of happiness and comfort um, throughout the entirety of my life. I've wanted to teach orchestra since I was in elementary school. Uh, so I guess uh, my path on this journey started when I was very, very young. Um, so I guess you could say that I am indeed living the dream. Okay, so this is the orchestra room, and if you notice, there is uh, tape on the floor. Um, all of you will be distanced six feet apart, and you'll kind of have your own little space here, including the bases in the back. You can see um, I'm actually putting new strings on all of the bases. Um, we are not going to be sharing instruments this year, so even if you're using a school-owned instrument, um, you will have your own to use. We've actually ordered uh, new adjustable bass stools uh, for bass players uh, so that it's a little bit easier to stay within uh, that, that six foot distance from your neighbor. Okay, so once we begin playing, uh, you will at the beginning of the day go to the orchestra room and drop off your instruments. So when you come in for your orchestra period, you'll go through the front door and then you'll go to the instrument storage room. You will sanitize your hands before you come in. There'll be a sanitizing station um, just outside. We're just gonna say hi to Julian. Yay! Um, only two at a time in this room, regardless of what instrument you play. We will always enter through that door that we just came in and exit through this door. Cellos and basses, you will have all of your materials next to your instrument so it's easy for you to enter the room and exit. Although all of the basses, your, your basses will be stored right here. Once you exit the instrument storage room, you'll find your seat, chin instruments. You will unpack and then put your case to the right hand side of your chair and put your backpack underneath your chair. Okay, so for my remote learners, the one thing that I know for certain is that uh, we will be using Zoom for all of our synchronous learning situations. Um, I am planning on supplementing some of that with uh, some small group work and maybe some one-on-one, -on -one, but that's all, all those details will kind of be ironed out as we go. I will try to be as communicative as possible through Schoology and um, email when I can. Uh, if you have any concerns or questions, please feel free to email or message me. Um, for all of my students, uh, we are gonna try to do as much as we can to work collaboratively, regardless of which uh, learning situation you're in, whether you're here or, or um, learning remotely. So just keep that in mind. Um, something that we're gonna be using um, a lot this school year is Flipgrid, um, just as a means to uh, collaborate with one another. Um, there are going to be a lot of unknowns this year, as I'm sure that you can are, are already anticipating that. Um, but I think the most important thing is just to, uh, you know, be patient um, and have a lot of grace. Um, this year is going to be um, a huge learning year for us. I think there's going to be a lot of trial and error, and we are truly going to be going through this together. Um, so uh, some of you have already heard me say this, but I have already categorized this school year as probably the weirdest year of my career. And I think if we can kind of embrace that idea where, you know, we're, we are all wanting a sense of normalcy, uh, I am for sure. Um, but when you walk into school or when you log in remotely, um, it's not really gonna be the same. However, I do think 
uh, that we can have a very positive experience, okay? And, and you know, like I said, patience is really key there. Um, it's gonna be a weird year, but we're gonna be in it together and um, uh, we're gonna learn a lot. So I am looking forward to seeing you. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, there's gonna be a lot of information coming out uh, to you um, the first week of school. So just uh, be on the lookout for that. Um, yeah, I will see you very, very soon.